Hello, hello, this is Joe from Nerd in Korea. We are continuing our uh, MTG upgrades, looking at green card draw. This is kind of building off of a previous series I did that was on Mardu card draw. So I've got videos on black card draw, red card draw, white card draw, and also all the colors like the dual and tri-colors. So yeah, if you want to check those out, or if you're looking for ideas, there they are. All right hit like and subscribe we're still a growing channel and frankly i always hit like on videos so i don't watch them twice i probably shouldn't keep saying that but if you don't want to watch my video twice hit like yeah hmm. what do i mean by budget i mean two dollars or less this that's the standard for this channel and we're going by the tcg player market price not a sponsor okay no, not at all go to so these are the cards you're probably going to think of first when you think green creature card draw these are the two that i think are uh probably number one on the list eric's pack leader four and a green also keeper of fables three green green so both five cmc and Garrick's Pack Leader is whenever a, cre a creature, or sorry, another creature with power three or greater enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card. That in green especially can add up very quickly, or if you're playing like a Gruel deck, I think that would go off a lot. Keeper of Fables. This one has gone up and down all over the place. Whenever one or more non-human creatures you control deal combat damage to a player, draw a card. So they have to be non-human, but other than that, it's very easy to get your card draw, right? Especially if you've got maybe like a Simic deck, where you've got blue, lots of like ways to get evasion and get around and keep getting that damage in. Any non-human is just going to automatically be drawing you cards as well. Uh, this is a, they're both 14 cents, amazingly. Number five. Glanra, Glanra, color of wire wood. For two and a green, this is a one, two. Has tap to add one green. So I'm um, a mana dork, right? When you spend this mana to cast a spell to convert a mana cost six or greater, draw a card. Again, a spell, not a creature. It just says a spell. So in a deck, you could probably have a pretty good number of like. Ideally, you've got like a high CMC deck where you put this in and it'll start drawing you lots of cards. Probably only one extra per turn, frankly, but still. One extra per turn is that kind of like sweet spot, I think, where people think it's not really worth getting rid of your card draw engine because it's not doing that much. So you're kind of flying under the radar. Anyway, 14 cents. Number four. Uh, Carbon. Karyatid, Karyatid, Karyatid. One green green for this 2-5 defender. So when it enters the battlefield, draw a card. Ideally, you've got some way to flicker, right? Or you can bounce it back to your hand and cast it again, or something like that. A 2-5 for 3 CMC is not bad, but if you want the card draw, you've got to have ways to kind of like keep him entering over and over again. So yeah. Very abusable, uh, only 22 cents. Number three, Lifeblood Hydra, X green, green, green. A little pricey there. Has Trample for this zero, zero. So when it enters, it gets X plus one, plus one counters on it. Great start, right? Basically you get as many count plus one, plus one counters as you put extra mana into it. So yeah, that can get out of hand at green. So when it dies, you gain life and draw cards equal to its power. Gain life and draw cards. A lot of ways you can abuse that, right? Especially with green, if you've got like a Selesnya life gain kind of deck, this is going to, if you can especially sac sacrifice him, then get him back to your hand, right? If you want to recur him, he's got to go to your hand so that you can recast him. If you just pull him straight out of your graveyard into the battlefield, this will be a 0-0 zero, zero and just die again, and it won't do anything. So yeah, proliferate decks or like expel decks or frankly, Selesnya life gain decks, I think can really make good use of this. 163, the most expensive on the list by long shot. Number two, Legolas Greenleaf. All right, <laughs> Legolas. Two and a green for this 2-2 two, two with reach. Yeah. 
So it can't be blocked by creatures with power 2 or less. Already not bad, right? That's pretty nice evasion. Some decks are just like not gonna really have a lot that can block either. Those token decks, he'll probably just fly straight by. Whenever another legendary creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one plus one counter on him. So he, in those legendary creature decks, he's going to get big fast, right? And when he deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. So he is only once per turn, but it's repeatable once per turn. That's where I think is actually one of the best ones. It's combat damage. There's another downside it does, that it does specify combat damage, so you can't like give him something that just lets him do one damage to like an opponent or something, and then draw a card off that. No, you need to like probably find another form of evasion for him, and then he's gonna keep drawing you cards every combat. Anyway, forty-two cents. Number one, Noctuous researcher. I think is it. I always do this, but is the innocuous research, does that look like Prince? Am I, is that just me? I don't know. I think it looks like Prince. Anyway, I always think cards, art on cards looks like someone. Uh, three and a green for this three, four? Eh. A centaur detective. Weird combination, but okay, sure. I mean, centaurs need detectives too, I suppose. Whenever Innocuous Researcher attacks, each player reveals the top card of their library. For each non-land card revealed this way, you investigate. And then each player draws the card they've revealed. So it is giving everyone card draw. There's your downside, but you get card draw and probably clue tokens. So they're going to, that's going to give you more card draw. And yeah, at the beginning of your end step, untap all lands you control. If you do, you can't cast spells until the end of your next turn. Sorry, you may untap. You may. It's your choice. So you can untap everything. What you need then is like uh, an ade a deck focused on creature abilities. If you've got a deck fo focused on creature abilities, you can start activating stuff just pretty much as if you never took your turn, right? It's going to get a lot done. Anyway, nine cents. A list. Uh, Galanra, color of wirewood is 14 cents. Craven Cadilid, Cadiated, Cadiated, 22 cents. Lifeblood Hydra, 163. Legless Greenleaf, 22 cents. Innocuous Researcher is 9 whole cents. Alright, take it easy.